Morning guys. So uh, here's this piece. I went ahead and took it off this deal here. It's done, dried, ready to go home. Uh, kind of show you the finish there a little bit. It'll focus in on that. I don't know. It looks good. Turned out real nice. I'm real happy with it. Um, you know, it's just epoxy primer, like I said, so no big deal. All it's all, all we're trying to do here is protect this metal. Uh, you'll never see this part again once it's underneath. But you will see the other side, but he actually is going to have someone else do the body work on this. Um, and so we just left it like it was um, so that they can do whatever they've got to do to it. So, But, yeah, I'm just putting all this stuff in epoxy, and so it's protected, and then he'll take it somewhere else and have them do whatever they're going to do to it. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's, and this, uh, you know, like I always talk about, the SPI epoxy shiny, it did show every uh, imperfection. Like right here's a tiny little dent. I mean, that's stuff you may not be able to pick up normally, uh, but once you get a shine like this down, you can see these little imperfections here and there. So if this is your outer panel, it, it's it's perfect, you know, as far as being able to sight down and go, okay, I see a little wrinkle right in there, you know. So, anyway, yeah, that's it for that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this thrown up here. All right, this is what we're dealing with down in those pits. Now, you can probably see that pretty well. You can see how it's discolored into a reddish color. Um, that's what I have to get out of there. If you put epoxy over that, it's just going to fail. You're, you're setting yourself up for failure. And this stuff is is literally everywhere. That's why I can't just spray over this and let that go. I, I know Ross, you said you know you were good with it, but man, it's gonna fail. I mean, so I have to, I literally have to take that down. I mean, at least if you want me to do it, if you want someone else to spray over it, then you can take it somewhere else. But I can't I can't let that fly. But it's not not with my name on it. So just just letting you know. Um, so yeah. A little bit extra work, no big deal. This stuff all through here looks real good. It's just certain areas. So I'm just going to hit these areas that look rusty uh, that you can actually see the physical rust. Uh, is there microscopic rust everywhere? Who Hell, who knows? Uh, you know, it's one of those deals that I'm not a chemist and I don't know, you know. Uh, but I'm going to do the best I can with what, what I got here. Try not to make this into a month-long project. So... All right, see you guys. All right, so again, I use this cup wheel and this actually here to get down into some of the smaller spaces. The only drawback that I see about these right here is they fling these little things out, and you can see they will cut you, stick in your skin, all over the place. You know, you get them stuck in your shirt and all that. However, they do a good job. And uh, let me grab my magnifying glass here show you what I'm talking about now you can see how deep hopefully how deep those pits were and I'm trying to get the light on that and you can see that's extremely clean extremely nice I know it looks black in some you know what I mean it looks in some light and it's just a reflection I think because it is absolutely spotless down in there uh, I'm trying to hold the light. I got the light on my head, but it, it's not, I don't know how well it's working. Come on, man. Anyway, yeah, it's not really, not really doing what I wanted to, but maybe it'll focus there. But yeah, those are clean, clean. I actually took a picture, and that might be the way to show you. Hold on a second, let me get back to this picture. That's the metal up close. And that's zoomed in, looks like the moon. But that's the pits and craters, so that thing does a good job. All right, I'm almost at the end of this cleaning process. Uh, sanding and cleaning and all the other stuff. I've got uh, 
All this is done. This whole box is done. It's all ready for paint. It's been uh, clean, isopropyl alcohol, blown off the whole deal, so I'm ready to hang it and paint it. This stuff is next. I'm working on that, so this is pretty much all I've got left. Uh, that one's done. I said that already. And then, yeah, I got to paint that big piece over there, but it's done and ready. Just needs to be cleaned. So, all right, uh, that's about it. See ya.
I'm going to show you real quick what this first coat looks like. It's kind of a, it's a dry coat, not necessarily dry, it's like a medium, kind of dry I guess you'd say. I like to spray this stuff a little bit dry, the first coat. Uh, it just seems to perform better if you do that. And so that's kind of why I'm just so, you know, all over the place spraying. I'm basically misting the stuff on. I'm getting it covered. There's good coverage on everything. But, uh, you know, the next coat I'll actually tone down just a bit and get to where, you know, everything's more smooth fluid motion type deal and try to get uh, a little bit more coverage, a little thicker on the second coat. Uh, so, yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in, at least with this epoxy. Now, every epoxy is different, so, you know, for me, this SPI, I found that if you spray a lighter coat, it seems to, to jive a little better, so at least on the first coat. All right.
Now remember this stuff was pitted with rust pit so it's not going to look like freaking glass. You know what I mean? Like all this stuff in here. Well there's still going to be you know what it was. I forgot about this one too. I found it over there and I had to scuff it up and lay a little bit down on it. So I have to come back. I'm going to put a third coat on all this stuff. So this will get two coats and the back sides of those will get two coats. There's two coats is plenty but I'm going to go with three just to cut for full coverage. I think I'm getting in the light. I think this is throwing off more light than it's here, maybe that'll help. <laughs> I don't know if it's helping or hurting. It really helps when I paint though, because I can I light up. You see what I'm doing here? You see that light? It hits right where you're looking. So for me it seems to work pretty decent. At least so far. I got a little bit of let me catch that one more time. Put it on just a tad thicker. But the rest of it, yeah. I'm good with it. Alright, this is three coats. So, this is really, really protected, Ross. Yeah, this should last for freaking ever. So a little bit of texture to lay down, that's no big deal. Um, that's just normal for the most part. I see a few little nibs, I mean, being like I said, in here, but most of like that stuff's all pitting from rust, but a little dent right there. And of course this one, I've got one more Actually, I got one more coat to put on this one, and then I'm done. <laughs>